What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to Project Diablo 2. This is the crafter season, and I have live streamed some of it, all right? So if you dogs want to support the Ice Boy, you can click the join button or hit the first link in the description below, and you can also watch my live streams, my past live streams, if you become a channel member, all right? Peace be with you. And if you do support me in such a way, you will indeed be granted many wives. Yes, thank you to my channel members. Blessings to you guys. And my patrons as well. May the creator guide you and protect you. And place your hands on the necks of your enemies. So, Project Diablo 2. It's a big thing, man. It's been in the works for a while. Uh, they're coming up on their fifth season or fifth ladder reset every season they add all sorts of new shit all right there's end game content there's maps where like you can open up something in town some portal kind of looks like this and you go into it it's a big level 85 uh, plus area and there's just swarms of monsters all over the place all right and they have modifiers, like uh, monsters will have more HP, monsters will have immunities, monsters will uh, reflect damage on their hit, monsters will cast lower resist on your ass, monsters will do all sorts of things, monsters will have fanaticism, or, you know, all this stuff. And the maps will have, uh, like, you'll enter the damn map and you can have more magic find. You, know, you can get rare maps, alright? See? They sell this stuff right here. Alright, it's just one example of the many of what kind of sets. A PD2 apart, but I'm going to show you guys uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected in just a minute here. They got widescreen. Many probably forget about the fact of the matter, but Diablo 2 Classic and LOD, it wasn't always widescreen, man. This game, this game was never widescreen. Uh, basically, these modders made this shit widescreen somehow, and it works out quite well. So that's another thing. It's not the four by three ratio anymore. It's a sixteen by nine ratio. And, but we still get the old school graphics. Uh, we still get the old school characters. So they didn't they didn't do any of those things that they did to the characters in D2R. All right, so we get the Amazon, we get the Assassin, we get the Sorceress in uh, in their true form. All right, so it's kind of nice. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of nice to be able to go back to this. But they just did so much in this mod, man. They added a bunch of uh, rare modifiers to make rares a bit more viable. They reworked a lot of the uniques. They even added new unique items. They added a couple rune words, man. It's correct, right? Did all sorts of stuff, dog. Uh, they got this thing. Uh, I think this is one of the biggest deals in here. You can crop the item, right? And there's a 25% chance it's going to go bye bye. But there's also a 25% chance it could add sockets. See? It could add sockets to the item. And in some cases, say you have wind force, you get out up to six sockets. So it's all by chance, you know? There's all sorts of modifiers. 100% chance for the mod, so this loot filter kind of explains it. Socket item is 75% mod, 25% uh, added. All, all sorts of crap. It, it explains it right here, loot filter, but... But yeah, you can, you can corrupt items, okay? And uh, it adds a modifier. I don't think... I don't have any corrupted items right now because I, uh, I didn't want to waste... A shard on any things. I'm only in nightmare right now, so I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, it gives you a massive stash. However, it's not shared, but it will be shared on season five, which is coming up in the not too distant future. It gives you a massive inventory. It gives you a charm only inventory. So basically, here on down is a charm only inventory. Okay, uh, that's where your charms are. You see, you can, you can put them up here. They're not effective. See, it's red. So let's use a small charm. See, it's uh, it's blue right there. This is the line, okay? This is the line right there. That's the line. And uh, so it's nice because uh, it, it, it keeps a lot of your inventory open for just items that you have to pick up. You know, you no longer have that uh, dilemma where do you take up your entire inventory with charms or do you not? You know, I, I don't like that dilemma, to be honest with you guys. So I kind of like the charm-specific section in your inventory where they only work down here you know so you can pick up a bunch of shit you can just have a mess like i do it's bad yeah don't don't do that don't do what ice boy does when it comes to this you know don't don't make a freaking mess uh, it's just it's stressful don't make a mess 
all sorts of skill changes. Skeletons, they do uh, something called splash damage, so it's just... It's toad, man. This is the way to go. Look at this. Yeah, they do, they do like a certain radius around them with splash damage. Most physical uh, skills and just basic abilities do that. So if you're playing as like a, uh, a Frenzy Barbarian, you're going to be doing splash damage, alright? You're playing as a kicks in, you're going to be doing splash damage. I don't need to explain this shit, but it's just, uh, it's just one of the many things that they added in here. Alright, like I said, the endgame content, uh, they have a Diablo clone event that's, uh, that's pretty big. They have the endgame maps, they have this whole Rathma event, it's, it looks, I'm scared, man, to be honest with you guys. I'm scared to do that. Uh, I just, I don't want to die. I don't want to waste all the materials that I use, because you gotta, like, collect materials or some shit. Of course, in this current season, which only goes through April 22nd, I believe, it's a, it's a short season, a craft and rare only season, uh, meaning no rune words and uniques. So it's just kind of a fun way to switch, uh, to, to change things up for a minute. You know, that's kind of what, what some of us are doing. But I mean, what do you guys think about it? This is PD2 Project Diablo 2. Uh, a lot of great qualities about it, man. So let me show you guys some D2R. Here, yeah. All right, dog. Welcome now to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Now, this is a strange thing, okay? Because I know the Diablo fan base it's kind of portioned off and shit right now. Although I feel like there are many like myself who kind of play both of these and kind of like both of them, all right? But let's be honest, man. Nothing split right down the middle, really, is it? There's always them um, subtle nuances and shit, all right? There's always it, it, something's got to give, man, one way or the other, you know. If you if you bust if you break it down to the the itty gritty, in general, I think, or perhaps all the time, one's always going to be slightly more favorable than the other. Okay. Now I'm not here to tell you what I think about that in this video necessarily. Just kind of showing you guys the differences, and I'm curious what you guys have to say, so let me know in the comments below. What's your opinion when it comes to D2R versus Project Diablo 2, alright? I think there are uh, good qualities about both. Of course, there are some things like in D2R that are fucking unforgivable in my opinion. Like, they need to give us the original characters again. They need to bring back the Amazon, uh, like Cassia or whatever the hell. You know, they need to bring back, because what we have now clearly... They aren't the old characters, and they're supposed to be a remaster, right? It's supposed to be resurrected, so you're supposed to give us the characters, not these new people? I don't know, is that offensive? Is people okay? Are we allowed to say people, or is that fucked up? Let me know in the comments below, but nonetheless, you know, we don't... Th those are the unforgivable things that D2R did, is they basically gave us different people. It's fucked up. Like the assassin, specifically, and the sorceress. And the Amazon, these are these are different people. Alright, well that's just one thing. So, enough about that. Let's talk about some nice things. Alright. The sound. The sound, you guys hear that? Here, listen. Listen to the music. And the items. Alright. This is like a remastered soundtrack or some shit. This is great. I suppose an audio... file. Okay. How you, how you say? How you say? Audio file? How you say? Toad? That how you say? Yeah, yeah, Toad. Yeah, the audio here is Toad. Uh, so, it's <laughs> smooth, man. It's high res, man. And then all choppy. I mean, even the sounds. Listen to the sounds. Watch this. Listen to Corpse Explosion. You guys hear that? It's not that, uh, like, ear-piercing sound. That it is in classic or PD2 for that matter. What else is playing? Now, are they able to add the new sound over PD2 overlaid or something? I don't know. That would be pretty cool if they could, <clears throat> but I don't know. But okay, a minute detail, right? A lot of folks are like, "Ice man, who gives a fuck about the sound?" I haven't muted when I'm playing Diablo anyway, so let us know something that matters. I don't have it muted when I play. I like listening to the sound, right? Uh, sometimes I do watch videos. Watch the YouTube videos on the other screen, but it's fine. All right? Sometimes I'll do that. But I still have the sound of the game going, dog. Like, have me some smooth-ass sound. All right? 
And I think they did a good job from the little I played. I haven't played D2R a ton, I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I played it a lot, but I didn't play it a ton. Alright, I'm going to play the ladder reset. When the hell is that? April 28 or something? 29 or some shit? I don't know. It's somewhere in that realm. I'm gonna play the ladder reset. I'm making videos uh, on the 14th or whatever April when they start when they release a the single player and all the changes. Alright, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe to the page you guys will. Become a channel member if you want. You and Deeper Bliss, many maps, uh, Patreon, all that bullshit. Hey, yeah. Support you guys, boy. Links in the description below. But there's other things, man. I mean, look at the, uh, for one, look at the overlay. Okay, and we can even, we can even revert how the old, old shit looks. See? Now, I kind of like, there's a lot of subtle things. Look at this. The Necromancer, he, 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 he's brisk when he runs. See this? He's upright. He's on a fucking mission. But now watch this. He's all hunched over and shit. He's, he, he, he's just not feeling the best, you know? So, there's something I think that can be a bit taxing over time when you're just staring at this. Whereas this one, he's more confident. You know, look at him go. Yeah, he's old, but... Motherfucker just drank a lot of coffee and his joints are just fine. Alright? And uh, he doesn't have a bunch of visceral fat. He's not a lazy piece of shit. Honestly, he runs every day. And he looks like it, see? Whereas this guy just... There's a lot of subtle things, alright? That uh, I don't... I don't really care about, but... Nonetheless, I'm, I'm not... I'm not fixing to criticize it. In this video, alright? Because, I mean, look at the little details. Like, this is a good thing. Look at this. They got... They added barrels and shit. See the barrels and shit? It's good. Now, did they do what PD2 did? Where they did a... A uh, complete overhaul and balancing and they added endgame content? No, not really. They balanced some things. Uh, they didn't balance rune words and stuff, but then again, part of me thinks it's appealing having that OP Enigma, having that OP Heart of the Oak, having that OP Shako, 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 having the OP Shako, having the OP Shako, having something like that going on. I don't, I don't mind that. Right? I think it's told. Uh, having some items like that, but I can understand the balancing, but again, it's nice having both PD2 having PD2. It's nice having D2R and uh, they just mixed they just merged and shit There ain't gonna be any competition. They probably just get lazy But not that, but that's just not gonna happen. You know, we're talking about like a pretty much a logical fallacy here They're not gonna merge uh, even if uh, Even if they were given like the uh the D2R bullshit. They'd still have their separate PD2, you know? Because this is uh, far different. And some would argue that those behind PD2 are uh, more weathered fans of Diablo 2 than those behind D2R. And that very well could be the case. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, D2R, it just, it has high res. All right, high res. It has good sound. And here's another thing. Look at the frame rate. You see how smooth that is, man? And now watch this. Choppy as fuck. Okay? Pretty choppy. You get used to it, though. So I'd recommend trying PD2. You get used to it. It takes a little while. You get used to it. But yeah, I mean, it has the nice, smooth frame rate. It has the shared stash. Uh, new item graphics, kind of, which I think are okay. I don't know. I kind of like the old art style. See, look at this. The old art style. I don't know. What do you guys think about the art style? Let me in the comments below. Well, I'll show you some Act 5 real quick. So what else did they change? They gave us a shared stash, but we're going to have that in PD2 anyway, uh, soon enough. They, uh, they, they don't allow for corrupting of items. They don't have that sort of mechanic embedded in the game, the whole uh, Worldstone shards or Orbs of Corruption or whatever they told. You know, they just don't have anything like that. So, but yeah, just a bunch of refined stuff, see? And I think for the most part, uh, looks pretty good. And uh, even more so, though, what I like, again, is the sound and the smooth frame rate. All right. Those are two things that I think are great about uh, D2R. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, they don't really have the end game content stuff. They don't have the map system. They don't have that sort of stuff that challenges your character. You know, they are doing some balancing. Uh, they finally allowed the droid, for example, to have all of his pets out at once. 
Still though, the Pat's damage sucks ass. Uh, so we'll see what they, we'll see what happens. You know, let's let's see what they do uh, coming up here in a week or two on the 14th. I think is when it is when they release the 2.4 patch uh, for single player. All right, because I'm going to be experimenting on that, making videos and all that. These skeletons can't kill a damn thing. Uh, and that's just another example. Is uh, there's a lot of things like that where uh, there's just underused skills for good reason. Uh, and if you want to be a summon necro in D2R, for example, you pretty much have to be a corpse explosion necro because your summons just aren't adequate uh, to, to kill on their own. And that's that. You know, you got to supplement it with corpse explosion or poison nova, but just a minute thing and, and just... Uh, there, there, there's, a, there, there's, there's many examples of similar things where uh, the team behind PD2, they did a lot of work and effort, and they use their heads, all right? They use their heads to uh, to get shit done, you know? And they used experience to get shit done. So we'll see what D2R can do with that, but... Honestly, I, I can't really think of much else. I mean, what's different about D2R other than some of the, uh, some of the skill changes that they did, uh, overhauling graphics? Am I missing something here? They didn't really, uh, like, buff any uniques and stuff, did they? I don't know, man. But, I mean, it's classic D2. Uh, some folks like that. Some folks like classic LOD Diablo 2. To where they wouldn't want to play Project Diablo 2 because they did do a lot of balancing and shit, you know? Or, uh, from what they call balancing, you know? Which is an, an arguable, uh, concept as well. because uh, who, who determines these balances? And, and who... And who determines that they're adequate? Well, it's the team behind uh, the mod. So, of course, not everyone agrees with the changes. But uh, that's another thing is this is kind of like classic Diablo 2 LOD. Uh, with some minute changes and an overhaul in the visuals uh, that some would consider good and some would consider not so good. But what do you guys think? Which one are you going to play more coming up here? Like we have the ladder resets coming up for both of these. For Project Diablo 2 and Diablo 2 Resurrected. Which one do you think you're going to play more of in general? And which one do you overall prefer more? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Like the damn video. Become a patron. Become a channel member if you want to support the Ice Boy. And may peace be upon you.